up, everybody? I'm Star Lord Dan. Today's video is kind of just an information video for all of you guys who have noticed that Pokemon Brick Bronze actually has a brand new mode. It's actually a randomizer mode which is really, really cool. Now, I know that a lot of people are very confused about this mode and they don't necessarily know all of the information about what exactly it is and how it exactly works. So today's video is kind of just telling you guys exactly how it works, how it'll impact your main save data and all that kind of jazz. Uh, but before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out a lot. You guys have been so me so much support on the channel. I've been at like 400 subs a day now and Everything's looking perfect. So to all of you guys who are coming back every day to watch my videos checking up on my channel Thank you all so much. You guys are awesome and uh, Yeah, let us get into the video. Okay, so first off there is a brand new randomizer mode on Pokemon Brick Bronze Now a lot of people first thought that this was actually the hacked version of Pokemon Brick Bronze recently called Pokemon Breeze I promise you guys, no it's not, nothing like that has happened, this is genuinely Pokemon Brick Bronze, it now has a randomizer mode. Now if loads of you guys are probably thinking what exactly is a randomizer, a randomizer basically make, makes it so that when you start the game, instead of having a Charmander, a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, it is it could be anything, it can be an Arceus, it could be a Charizard, it could be a Mimikyu, basically the possibilities are randomized crazy and also they could be a shiny Pokemon too which is really really cool. Um, so this is kind of pretty- Oh, shut the heck up, phone! Why are you doing this to me? What the hell? Um, so basically, that is what a randomizer mode is. Now, a lot of people were very confused that what would happen if they actually saved their game in their randomizer game. Well, I can safely tell you guys right now that it is a separate game mode from the main storyline. So, for example, the game type that you've been playing for, like, the majority of the year now is its own separate game. Let's think of it like that. Now the randomizer mode is a brand new game mode where you can have a save file that is completely separate. So if you actually want to play legit on your main file, you can play legit on your main file by selecting it on the main menu screen. But if you want to play on your randomizer mode one day, like let's say you get bored of the main mode and you want to play on your randomizer, you can actually go down to the randomizer uh, game mode and then you can also click on that too, uh, which basically allows you to play two separate games at once. That's how easy it is. That is genuinely how easy this is. Okay, so sorry about that. My uh, family actually came up the stairs. But anyway, so now that we've got that out of the way, that is two completely separate games and that they both have different save files. It's kind of like having one on one memory card and the other on another memory card. You're completely fine, guys. I promise you. Um, now, also, a lot of you guys may also realize that all of the Pokemon that you can't yet get in Pokemon Brick Bronze's main story mode are actually already in the randomizer mode. Yes, that is right. Lando and the team actually opened it up to where any Pokemon, any Pokemon at all, is available in that game. So, let's say, for example, you want an Arceus, you can have an Arceus. If you want Hoop... Hoopa? Hoopa? Hoopa! If you guys want Hoopa, you can get Hoopa. It is actually possible. But it also means that the players that you battle and the gym leaders also don't have the same Pokemon that they would also normally have. Basically, I basically went into a battle with somebody, like a random NPC, and he had a Volcanion. And I was like, what is that? Why do you have a Volcanion? And he, he pretty much kicked my butt a little bit. But um, basically, anything is possible. The, p the chances of catching any Pokemon is, like, so random now, it's absolutely crazy. So, like I said, your usual battles where, you know, you would find the Eevee guy who is really good at e e e e EXP training and stuff like that, he may not always have the same Pokemon. It is always, like, randomized and everything. Now, I'm not too sure what happens if you re-battle the same person. I don't know whether they will always have the same Pokemon that you first battled them with. That's actually pretty interesting to find out. And I definitely will, will check that out sometime soon. Uh, because that's actually pretty interesting. Like, if you re-battle people, will they always have the same Pokemon or no? Uh, so will EXP tra- uh, what is it? EV training be harder now or something like that, you know? Well, it definitely is because, you know, EV training is definitely going to be harder now. 
Now, I do have to apologize if you do hear some kind of background noise right there. Somebody is using a hairdryer in my house, but don't worry about it, guys. Uh, so, I kind of just wanted to uh, kind of get to gist with you guys with a lot of the changes and stuff like that happening. Now, because this is a brand new mode, Lando has already found out that there are a couple of bugs and glitches, uh, especially when you actually meet Groudon. Um, basically, like, this cutscene of Groudon is very glitched, and I, he doesn't know why just yet, but they will fix it. So, you guys will experience a couple of bugs. And uh, I will try and find a couple of glitches with this game mode. I doubt that I'm gonna find any personally I don't think I am but I will do my best to try and find a couple and see what happens And um, but other than that I think I've pretty much cleared up this whole randomizer mode for all of you guys who are new to the actual randomizer scene uh, Basically you can get random Pokemon anywhere you want. Oh also no before I end the video uh, Basically when you see a Pokemon that is a legendary Pokemon outside of battle basically in a random piece of grass it is still pretty difficult to catch that Pokemon. It's, it is it is really difficult. Like, I was trying to catch a Zapdos the other day, and it was just non-stop breaking out of the Pokeball. So, what I would suggest, guys, is that if you do see a Pokemon such as Butterfree that knows, like, Sleep Powder or something like that, definitely get it as soon as you can, because you will need it. I will actually have a separate guide on this, on how to catch legendary and mythical Pokemon really easy in the game. I'll pretty much go across everything that you need to do. Uh, so, if you do want to see guides like that on the channel, guys, please remember to leave a like, Click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, what are you guys doing if you haven't already? You're crazy. Um, but basically, I hope that you enjoy this game type. And that you ho you hopefully enjoy all the videos that I have uh, planned for you guys in the next couple of days. Uh, but anyway, enjoy your starter Pokemons. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.